What up YouTube? Jesse here. I just wanted to uh, do a follow-up video on this TriStar 20 gauge <clears throat> over under. Uh, this was called the Upland Hunter. Uh, it shoots the uh, three inch shells. So I guess you could call it a Magnum. Uh, I guess the three and a half would be an ultra man. But anyway, yeah, so this uh, TriStar I got for, I think it was $393 when I picked it up. Uh, it's about $400 gun. And uh, what I regret most about this gun is I got rid of my 12 gauge to get it because I really wanted this 20 with the extended chokes. And instead of just keeping that, I kind of gave somebody probably a better deal than they should have got on it so I could afford this one. And, um, you know, I, in hindsight, I could have just bought the extended chokes and kept the 12. But I like a 20 gauge, especially for like dove hunting. Uh, it doesn't kick as much, right? <clears throat> or does it? I don't know. That 12, actually, I don't know. I think the 12 might have kicked less than this 20 <laughs> uh, for an over-under. Um, and I haven't really found an over under that was just that recoil friendly, I guess, is what I could say. Um, uh, none of them I've shot have just been gentle guns on you. I've got another pump 20 gauge, and that one's so much more uh, gentle. I, I guess maybe the butt stock is maybe just a little softer, but this has got, I mean, a decent one, really. I mean, you could put a limb saver on it. I have. Uh, it's whatever. Um, since I shot that last video, the action seems to work quite a bit better. It's not near as stiff. Like you would, before, it was just so stiff. And I guess maybe still is a little, but I like it. It's tight. Um, I would rather have it tight and start wearing it than it just be so loose that it's whatever. But uh, all the switch actions work pretty good. I felt like. Um, at first these were a little stiff to get it, you know, for the selector for over, under, and then safety. Uh, once you get going, uh, I don't know what else to say about that. It, it was stiff at first, but everything seemed to wear into it. You know, I got some scratches on it. I've used it. It's, I've, I've had it for two years now, and I've taken it to go shoot sporting clays. I've hunted with it. Um, my biggest problem with this gun is, um... When you see that flock of doves, you get the two shots, and I want that third shot. That's the only problem I have with this gun, is I want that third shot. Other than that, I think for price point and all that, it's accurate. It patterns good. Um, I've actually, I tried to take it spring turkey hunting, and uh, I honestly didn't see a turkey or hear one for an entire week. So, I think I was just in a bad spot, but... I think it could do it, um, but I mean, it's been a pretty good gun. It comes with five chokes and they're, like I said, extended chokes. Um, I've pretty much only just ran the, uh, uh, I've only just ran the uh, improved cylinder on the lower one and modified on the top, but I just recently swapped to where I'm running skeet on bottom, which would cylinder, and then improved cylinder on top. And I don't know that that's really going to be the best for me, but I've been doing a little throwing of the clays with my friends, and uh, I just wanted to try something else out. But normally I'm running the improved cylinder on the bottom, modified on top, and I always shoot the bottom one first. I don't know what a lot of other people do, uh, but that's what I have been doing. Um, this gun might be a little oily. I just cleaned it out. I shot some clays with it yesterday, but, um, I know TriStar is imported. You can get, uh, I think the Setter, which is the next level up from that, which is another like $200. Um, just by looking at them online, I can't see much difference in it to make it maybe the instead of just being laser etched maybe the engravings actually engraved i've got the feeling it's not um i mean 
check ring is not just lasered in, I guess, cheap. I mean, it's checkered. You can feel, you know, it's there. Uh, I guess as far as color, and I didn't really, on my first review, even notice it, but maybe it's just the lighting. The buttstock and the foregrip are definitely two different pieces of wood that don't match up very well. Um, and I just now noticed that. It's not going to stop it from shooting like it does. But maybe that's where when you get the setter or whatever, you know, you're going to get something that shoots or is a little bit cleaner, right? Um, but it's been two years and it shoots great. Um, it definitely can take a dove down. I've vented, vented barrels. It's lightweight. It's not very heavy at all. It does... It can thump you if you're not holding on to it properly when you shoot. It will get you. Uh, you want to hold it nice and snug in the in the old shoulder pocket there. Otherwise, it'll get you. Um, but it's it's great to shoot. I really wish I could find this in 28 gauge or a 410. Uh, I would be buying those in a harpy. Um, uh, I can't. Um, for what I do or whatever, I, I don't think I can really afford to buy really high-end guns to when I can get this for the on a budget, but whatever. I mean, I like American-made sh shit. Who doesn't? But um, I think they're getting those Stevens triple uh, fives or whatever. I believe that's what they are, Stevens Triple Five. And they seem like they're probably a really good gun and they're American-made. But you're paying almost double... It's at least 50% more than what this is to get into that kind of gun. And if it's worth it to you, that's that's fine. I, I don't know that I'm... Maybe it does make me less of an American or whatever. You know, you can, I can catch all kind of hell for it or whatever. But uh, I like this gun for what it is. Uh, enjoying that adult beverage, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I think... If they had them, I would buy them. I'm looking to maybe get a side by side at one point too, because I've never hunted with a side by side. Not just like to, I'd like to just do it. You know what I mean? It's like part of the collection or whatever. But anyway, YouTube, this shouldn't be too long of a video. I just thought maybe you would like to see it. Uh, I mean, I, I think the finish is pretty good. I mean, I got some scratches on it, not that bad. Butt stock seems good. It's held up very well. I've got a couple scratches on it. Um, but this gun, for what it is, I mean, I'm going to beat it up. I'm not trying to keep it. It's not a $1,300 gun. Once again, like I, I can beat it up, and I'm not going to be too upset about it. Uh, double barrel. Uh, extended chokes. Good price point. I don't know that you can even get these anymore. I'm starting to think Walmart is not going to sell them. Uh, uh, what I've noticed is that Walmart is, uh, uh, Walmart is selling less guns. There's certain stores that they're not selling guns and other stores they are. Kind of, maybe they're pulling what the dicks did. Dicks. Fuck dicks, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think they're kind of doing like what dicks did. And, uh, they are, um. Only having certain stores sell guns, or at least here where I'm living. Um, and actually, there's not a Dix in this state that I know of that sells guns from Dix. Uh, but I, it's this is a I think a good gun for somebody that's young, maybe doesn't have enough money to buy the high end ones for a lot of skeet or whatever. Um, I don't know that I would use it for competition, but shit, you could go and you you could go shoot clays with this thing, no problem. Um, uh, it's a, been a good little gun. I don't think I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, I wish I hadn't got rid of the 12. As a matter of fact, I'm currently thinking about getting another over under 12 uh, that I've found. It seems like it might be at a good price point. Uh, what if? If I get that, then there obviously will be another video on that. Uh, this has been a good gun, though. And uh, I, I think anybody, if they're on a budget, they don't want to spend too much on a gun and can find one, 
the, the these would be a good deal. I think if you can't do a TriStar, Academy's got their Yieldies. Obviously, if you want American, there's Stevens and Savage. Uh, and there's way higher end ones uh, from there on. Uh, I'm trying to think of other budget ones. Uh, budget, uh, there's Stogers out there. Um, but, I mean, you don't need that much gun. Um, obviously, two barrels is better than one. Uh, actually, I kind of want to try out the tri-barrel one, but you're talking about 300 or yeah, about $1,300 for that. So, uh, I probably won't be getting one of those. I'd rather just buy a semi-auto, I guess, if I need the three shells. Uh, after shooting this and that uh, semi-auto I had, I tried to pull out my pump and shoot it, and it was like, Oh yeah, I'm supposed to pump. Like I forgot, I couldn't just pull the trigger. Cause I mean, these th this thing literally fires like the second. If you want to shoot both barrels real fast, you can do it very quickly. I mean, um, faster than I'd want to pull the trigger. Actually, and I can shoot it twice. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, YouTube. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see some different content or whatever kind of content you want, uh, I'll gladly try to help you out and get you whatever you want. Take it easy.